Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Auditorium. So, I got some feedback on the previous video, and most people wanted me to play Auditorium or Escape Goat, so I'm probably going to do them both. Let, well, well, we'll see if this recording works out. Uh, let's push you. Push you. Aha! So, this is going to be an odd LP for me, because I don't want to talk that much, because the music is amazing. This game's about the music. And it's about puzzles, I suppose. So, minimal talking. I'm going to talk some to explain certain game mechanics, but that'll be it. And I'm starting at the beginning, despite doing... despite showing a preview in my, uh, June bug video. But, very simple. Especially in the first stage, Hajime Mashita, which basically means, nice to meet you, or this is the first time we're meeting if you wanted to be slightly more literal, but the best translation is, you know, it's good to meet you. Um, so what you just need to do is use the different icons that you'll get throughout the game to push the sound waves into these bars up here. And the range of the icons can be stretched so that they have a more severe effect. You'll notice that I can't really get this to reach all that easily because it's small. But if I increase the severity, suddenly it'll take very sharp turns, and then I can get it. Once the sound waves fill the bars, the music starts playing. And when there's multiple bars, multiple pieces of music are attributed to it. So the only way to hear the song and complete the level is to fill up all of the bars completely. So you notice here, only part of the song is playing. But once I add the other one... And there we have it. Seems simple. And it is simple. However, it's about... It's gonna get a lot more complicated later on. I have not yet beat this game. But I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so I don't know when the next part of this will be out. Assume it... Well, let's see how far I go. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet until I have something to explain, so... This is the chapter end screen. Happens each time you get through a section. And each time you get through a section, a new mechanic is introduced. So now we're going on to Act 2. Amethyst. Which is a type of, I think it's like a purpley pink stone. Kind of this color. There's a few people that actually thought this was the name of the game because the stage that I ended up on was this stage. And it, you know... <laughs> They looked at the game and it said Amethyst in the quarter. It's a pretty easy assumption to make. But here we introduce colors. In order to change the white color, you need to get it through a loop of color, and then it will correspond to music bars of that same color. And that's pretty much all that they've changed. On a few levels, there are multiple colors, but I believe we only have the purple-pink Amethyst color on these set of stages.
That was incorrect. A new color has been introduced already. the recording crashed, which is really why I don't do Flash games anymore. Because it's too hard to record the things. Well, that's okay. The game will calm me down, and it'll be fun. That's not going to work. But if we decrease the influence that this one has... Then my left-leaning attacks will be more important.
took quite a while to get everything right, and it's weird, the video crashed, I already did this part and it was no problem, but that time... That time I had a little bit of issues getting everything in place. Took a lot of finagling. Well, I was going to go on, but due to the difficulty that I've had recording this, I think I'm going to stop here and get feedback, unless this part crashes, which is possible. <laughs> so, next act will be Act 3, and we'll get to explore these things. But I do want some feedback here. Um... Am I talking too much? Am I not talking enough? Should I not talk at all? I will use your feedback to the make the next episode. So I am Cross Knights, and uh, 
I see you guys later.